it doesn't really shock me. It, it, it just shows how dedicated people are to Georgia football. Like Wrigley Field and its Ivy, or Fenway Park and the Big Green Monster, Sanford Stadium is notorious for its historic treasure. However, the origins of this cherished relic is technically Georgia's most evasive weed, Privet Ligustrum, better known to UGA fans as the Hallowed Hedges. What really amazes me is to walk around campus and see a shirt that says Between the Hedges. You know, when you say Between the Hedges, you know exactly where you're playing football, and that's inside, you know, Sanford Stadium. With a coverage area of 5,000 square feet, the famed hedges were the creation of former UGA business manager Charlie Martin. As legend has it, Martin was inspired by the rose hedges surrounding the field of the 1926 Rose Bowl. However, upon his return to Athens, Martin learned that roses wouldn't be able to thrive in the harsh Georgia elements. The decision was then made to plant privet. And the rest, as they say, is history. When they break them off, I remember Tech did it, and they broke them off, and they thought they'd won the, you thought they'd won the Rose Bowl. And, and that goes to show me that, you know, where it comes back to tradition, you know, tradition here at Georgia is, is very good and very strong, and if people want to come and pop a piece of hedge off, and, you know, that, that just goes to show that they want to be here, they want to, you know, they, they want a piece of that. But not even the most hallowed traditions are immune to change. Over the years, Georgia officials have been forced to remove or replace the hedges for one reason or another. During the 1996 Summer Olympics, Bulldog fans were outraged when the hedges were taken out to make room for soccer matches. This past summer, however, they were a bit more forgiving when a Georgia native electrified Sanford Stadium. It ended up being 20 of them for the Jason Aldean concert. Um, and we replaced those back. They're back over there in the corners. Removing them is something I don't want to do. But in order to host things, then we have to do it. And it, you know, but that's the good thing about the privet is it just comes right back. Now, since these hedges are technically in the weed family, they tend to grow on average about three feet per year, which means a lot of upkeep. However, not just anyone can touch these hedges. Nope, that's a special skill and a special honor. Jesse Ledford is a recent UGA grad and one of only a handful of people charged with the weekly task of keeping the hedges sharply groomed. It's a position he's held for over four years. Still, Jesse says every time he picks up the clippers, his attention to detail has to be at its finest. I mean, it's not just trimming the hedges, it's cutting the tops, up, cut tops off of them, cutting both sides of them, cutting the ends, and then blowing all the shavings out of the way, scooping up the shavings, taking them off. I mean, it's not just simple cutting here and there. I mean, and it's gotta be laser perfect and where you can look down it and you know see a straight line. To me it's it's really an honor for them as students to be able to come out here and trim these hedges because 10 years from now when they're out in the working world like we are and then they can turn around and say hey you know I used to do that. You know once we get the hedges looking as well as they do now it's, it's basically keep them up, keep them trimmed and then let everything else fall into place.